Justin Gaethje's reflection on his UFC 300 bout against Max Holloway offers insight into his mindset during the fight's final moments. Despite ultimately facing defeat, Gaethje expressed no regrets about engaging in the exchange with Holloway when prompted by his opponent's gesture. In the interview, Gaethje acknowledged that when Holloway pointed to the center of the cage, he felt compelled to accept the challenge. He highlighted the competitive nature of both fighters and the mutual respect they share, emphasizing their commitment to putting on an entertaining show for the fans. Gaethje's willingness to engage in the exchange demonstrates his warrior spirit and dedication to delivering an exciting fight. Despite the outcome, he views the bout as a testament to both his and Holloway's competitive drive. Gaethje said this. No, I wasn't surprised when he pointed. When that happened, in my mind the first thought was, of course. I tried and did the little flip kick. He pointed and I jogged to that center. We said it many times before this was going to be the people's main event. I said it was going to be the best live show on earth and it was just that. It was just two guys that are absolute competitors. I'm a competitor and he's a competitor, and we've been doing this for so long. You know, I just think there was no other option. When someone points at the ground like that, there's no way I'm not going to accept that challenge. Looking ahead, fans may anticipate potential matchups for both Gaethje and Holloway. Gaethje's future opponents could include other top contenders in the lightweight division, while Holloway may continue to explore opportunities in the featherweight division or even move up to lightweight for intriguing matchups. Stephen Thompson has responded to Michael Venom Page's recent remarks about a potential UFC booking between the two fighters. Thompson, known for his karate-focused style, is awaiting his next UFC bout following a loss to Shafkat Rachmanov at UFC 296. Amidst discussions about a fantasy fight between Thompson and Page, Page expressed his opinion that a clash between them wouldn't be entertaining due to their similar styles, which heavily rely on counter-striking. Thompson echoed Page's sentiments during a recent interview with Inside Fighting, agreeing that their similar styles could potentially result in a boring fight. He explained that both fighters are counter-strikers, which could lead to a standoff in the octagon, waiting for one another to make a move. Acknowledging that a matchup between them might not live up to the hype and expectations, Thompson expressed his preference for facing wrestlers to continue improving that aspect of his game. While there's mutual respect between Thompson and Page, and despite fans' interest in seeing the striking battle, both fighters seem uninterested in the matchup. However, given their desire to advance in the welterweight division and potentially vie for title contention, a bout between them could still be a possibility, depending on the UFC's matchmaking decisions. Macy Barber found herself in an unexpected situation recently when she encountered a drunk woman threatening her and her friend Demi. The incident, which was recorded on video, could have escalated, prompting Barber to consider reaching out to UFC President Dana White for assistance. Barber recounted the incident, expressing her relief that she didn't engage physically despite feeling the urge to protect herself and her friend. She humorously admitted that she even prepared a message to Dana White, anticipating the need to explain why she might end up in jail for defending herself. She said this. I just wanted her to swing on Demi, I'm like I was getting ready. I'm gonna have to call Dana and explain to him why I'm going to jail because I had to lay this lady out. I literally have a text thread with Dana telling him that. I'm like, dude, I thought I was gonna have to call you tonight and be like hey, come help me out, I need to get out of jail. I had my phone out recording, I'm cracking up because I think it's hilarious. This lady's like, if you touch me, I'll bust your face. And I was like, oh, you don't want to touch her, don't touch her. And then she's like, I will beat both of you, and I was thinking, hell no. Reflecting on the situation, Barbara shared her thoughts on the encounter, emphasizing her amusement at the absurdity of the woman's threats. Despite the tense moment, she managed to see the humor in it and remained composed throughout the ordeal.
Mike Perry, a BKFC star, shared his perspective on Justin Gaethje's performance in his UFC 300 bout against Max Holloway. Perry expressed his belief that Gaethje appeared to be out of shape compared to Holloway during the fight. According to Perry, Holloway's performance throughout the fight was impressive, highlighting his excellent physique and overall condition. In contrast, Perry felt that Gaethje looked less physically prepared and was not as sharp as Holloway. Despite going the distance for five rounds, Gaethje's physique seemed lacking compared to Holloway's lean and muscular build. Perry praised Holloway's performance, noting his speed, agility, and precision in the fight, particularly in the final seconds when he secured the victory with a knockout. He said this. It wasn't just the end of the fight. Max was performing all night in that ring. He did so good. The shape he was in looked phenomenal compared to Justin, who I thought was going to be bigger and stronger looking. He kind of looked out of shape. I mean, he went five rounds, but you look at Max's physique versus Justin's, it couldn't be compared. Max, like he had no body fat. You saw all his muscles, he was moving, he was fast, he was swift, sharp, slick. He was touching him up, and he just said it in the last second, oh my gosh, it was awesome. Definitely stole the night and then he gets $600,000, got two bonuses when the bonuses were more than ever. Incredible stuff. Overall, Perry was impressed by Holloway's performance and his ability to capitalize on the opportunity in the final moments of the fight, earning him significant bonuses and acclaim for his performance at UFC 300. Dan Hooker is eyeing a matchup against Benil Dariush for his return to the Octagon at UFC 303. Hooker, who has been recovering from a broken arm sustained in his victory over Jalen Turner last July, is eager to step back into the cage this summer. Expressing his interest in facing Dariush, Hooker sees the UFC 303 card, slated for June, as the perfect opportunity to make his comeback. Dariush, who recently indicated his openness to fighting Hooker, presents an appealing challenge for the Kiwi fighter. Hooker is confident in his ability to defeat Dariush, stating, I will punch Benil Dariush's head clean off his shoulders. He views this potential matchup as his top choice and is ready to sign the contract without hesitation. A bout between Hooker and Dariush would hold significance for the lightweight division. With Dariush ranked 6th and Hooker ranked 11th, the fight could have implications for the title picture. Both fighters are coming off two fight winning streaks, making this potential matchup even more compelling. For Hooker, a victory over Dariush would propel him closer to a title shot or a title eliminator bout. Similarly, Dariush will be looking to bounce back from his recent losses and regain momentum in the division. Overall, a showdown between Dan Hooker and Benil Dariush at UFC 303 would undoubtedly be an exciting addition to the lightweight division's landscape.